What? Shut up and listen. It's action time. Eh? Payday. Or have you lost interest? All right. So where has it been? Moss. She's got everything you asked for. Livestock, fuel, all of it. Why Moss? In exchange for the Guardian. You have to deliver him to her. Oh, what? You think I'm mad or something? Shh. What am I supposed to do? Walk him out the mall and pray him down the street? Everything's been arranged. I fixed it all. Why can't you go? Because this is your bit. But if you can't handle it, we'll drop the whole thing right here. Okay, okay, I'll do it. All right. Now listen carefully. You'd better get up. The others will be waking soon. Naughty boy. I thought you wanted to keep this a secret. I was just trying to say thank you. What for? For taking me to see your friends. And see if they heard anything about Amber and Trudy. Well, they hadn't, so there's nothing to thank. It's not the way I see it. But the search continues, so you'd better get up. There's still something I'm wondering, though. Hmm? Well, how could an outsider know exactly when and where Amber and Trudy would be on their own? I mean, it has to be someone here in the mall. Maybe. But you're not going to find them in your bed, so come on, Pride, get up. If I have to. <laughs> gotcha. Seed, hay, sheep, pigs, oh. cows, horses, chickens, ducks. No. Yes. I told you I'd do it, and I have. And this is all for real? You're not just playing games? As real as I'm standing here. And why won't you tell me where you got it all from? Uh-uh. My business, remember? But it is all on the level. More than on the level. I'm going to be a respected member of the community. And by this time tomorrow, we'll be on the farm with everything we need and people queuing up to work for us, guaranteed. Oh, Ned. When I said I was going to look after you, Alice, I meant it. <laughs> Listen up, everyone. Today, we're doing the south side. Lex, you get your deputies and go with Bray. Right. Okay, who's got the leaflets? Oh, uh, here. We still need more, though. Uh, May, can you do that? Uh, well, I was gonna... Uh, uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, you'll have to look after Brady again, is it okay? Of course. Casey, you leaflet the north side. This is enough for this morning. We'll have more ready when you get back. You don't stop, do you? I'm enjoying it. It's good to have something to do. No, look, I've been meaning to say I really appreciate what you're doing. Anytime. Okay, everyone, we all know what we're doing, so let's go. We've got an election to win. Great, come on, guys. Right, I'm off. Could you at least tell me what part of town you're going to? Don't start that again. Just give us a kiss and wish me luck. Good luck. And be careful. Oh, piece of cake. Love you. See you, lover. What's wrong with you? We weren't like this yesterday. I know you're in there somewhere. Won't you come out? Just for a moment? You don't have to worry. I promise I won't tell anyone. No? Okay.
See you later. Hello, Mr. G. We're going for a little trip together. A one-way trip in your case. You know, I never thought I'd ever be grateful to Ebony for anything, but I don't know, she's the one who's made this all happen. <laughs> That's praise indeed coming from you. Well, I'm just glad to see you looking so happy. You're a new person. Well, I'm starting to feel this future again, you know? Hey, if Bray wins, maybe I could really help rebuild this city. Be a part of it. You already are. You're very special. Maybe I could even start going outside the mall again. Imagine that. Going for a walk together. Wouldn't that be great? It's gonna happen. I know it is. Well, as long as Bray gets in. Imagine what it would be like if Mars wins. Hey, don't even think about it. Oh, I mean it. I'd be stuck in here forever. It'd be even worse than it is now. Luke, stop it. Sorry. All right, let's get to work, eh? Make sure that doesn't happen. Go on! Move, damn you! Tell me, Ebony, do you think there's still a chance that Amber and Trudy are still alive? You know, I can't say why, but deep in my bones, I think they are. You hang in there, Bride. And if I hear one peep from you, I'll wring your neck. you sold me yesterday. Mm, great choice, Ed. I knew you had good taste the minute I saw you. Uh, yeah, I think I've changed my mind. Why? Is something the matter with it? No, it's, it's just I don't have the use for it that I thought I would. <sighs> what a pity. Still, win some, lose some, eh? Yeah, no big deal. Uh, so, can I have my money back? I'm very sorry, but I can't do that. I don't do cash refunds. What? Since when? Well, since we started using cash, I suppose. You can have a credit note if you like. I don't want a credit note. Give me back my money. Whoa, no need to be like that. You can uh, swap it for a nice hat if you like. Huh? I'm going to tell you what I'll do. You give me back my money, and I can give you some watches. I keep the batteries separate. Of course. They're very nice. Can you get more of them? As many as you want. I see. So, would you be the main supplier then? You could say that. Oi! This is a guy who's been selling the dead watches. What? They were perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Tell me, do you do cash refunds? Oh, I could see the right to be so happy. Does it show that much? It shows any more Lex in the Moscow will arrest you. <laughs> it's nothing, really. Come on, spill the beans. Can you keep a secret? Of course. Ned and I, we're gonna go back to my farm. We're gonna work it together. Uh, how? I thought there was nothing left up there since I'd chosen looted it. No, there isn't. But Ned said he can get everything. We need to start again. So where is he getting all this stuff from? I'm not sure, but he said it's all legitimate. And you believe him? Sure. He's changed since he's been here. He's a different person. You do believe people can change, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Oh, well, that's great then. I don't know. No one's ever been this nice to me before. Oh, Alice. <laughs> it's a place for you. <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? <laughs> Well, I've got a secret, too. Promise you won't tell? Of course. 
You were right about pride. Me and him. What? You, you mean... Get you, girl. How did you manage to keep that secret? He wants it that way. Why? Oh, you know what he's like, all private and broody. So is it serious? I thought he had the hearts for Amber. Don't know yet. <laughs> Have to wait and see. But you'd like it to be. What do you think? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. But you can't tell anyone. Because there's someone else who's got the hearts for me too. Who? Casey. Oh, no. <laughs> You need? <laughs> Funny old world, eh? Who'd have thought I'd have the all powerful guardian packed away like a pig going to market? And your old friend, the uh, Supreme Mother, got her too, as it happens. I can't quite believe it myself. You see, people think I'm stupid, but I'm not. There's a brain in here, and it's got me a nice farm and a future. So you won't be dying for nothing. In fact, you might want to think about that when they're stringing you up. I'll be there. I'll be right down the front when you can see me. And just when your eyes are popping out of your head, you think to yourself, oh, man, he wasn't so stupid after all. We need to get water organized. We need to get food organized. Guys, we have a real chance here to turn this place into a great city to live in. But we have to work together. Yeah. Why won't you give us the Guardian? And here we go again. Well, if you listen, I'll tell you. Okay, okay, leave her! Yeah, I don't like lynchings. What do you want? Nor should you. Tell your little sidekick here to go away. Come on, think about it. You want to live in a city where people are treated worse than animals? Because that's what you're asking. The Guardian is an animal! It's better be good. We're trying to win an election. Okay, say, say you're right. Say that the Guardian is an animal. But we're not, you see. And that's what this election is about. If you vote for Mars, you're voting for the bad days again, when we're all fighting each other. Look, what I'm trying to say is that well, we can offer better than that. Um, uh, we, um, we, we can create uh, great lives. Um, we can, we can make this city. Uh, we can, we we can be proud of it. Uh, we just gotta stick together. What's the matter? Forgotten your lines? <laughs> Look, don't throw away this chance, okay? Just um, just vote for a bit of future. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not gonna die. Yet. He's gonna get me, I know he is. He's not gonna get anyone, he's very weak. He's not on the roof. Are you sure? Uh, yes, uh, did you check downstairs? Yes, he's not here. How do you escape? Well, someone must have let him out. Well, did anybody see anything? The alarms in the sewers have been disabled. Well, that means he had inside help. Any suggestions, Luke? Hey, don't look at me. I'm finished with the guy. Luke was with me the whole time. Oh, yeah? Well, that's convenient, Ellie. You're looking in the wrong place. I want to know where Ned is. And what do you mean by that? Exactly that. Where is he? Look, if you've got something to say about Ned... Hey, can we cut it out and stop this arguing? We're going to find the Guardian now. Yeah, before the city finds out. What? Surely we're going to tell the city. Are you kidding? Bray tells them they can't have the Guardian and that we're keeping him locked up. And then he escapes. Goodbye election. Yeah, and supposing you hurt someone, how about that? He is harmless. Ask Tysan. Bray, you can't do this. What do you think, Tysan? Well, whoever took him plans to have him assassinated. I doubt very much he's still alive. Maybe we can hold him off for a couple of hours. No! I tell you, he's not harmless. 
He's been faking it since the very beginning. That's not true, Andy. Yes, it is. He said it bite off my arm. He sucked you all into believing that he's insane. I'm afraid I'm to blame for this. Andy told me about this some time ago, and I didn't believe him. Perhaps I should have. I'm, I'm sorry. Come on, Bray, we're wasting time. No, we gotta alert the city first. Think about what you are doing. If this gets out, Mars has won. They'll blame you, bound to. You seen the Guardian? You seen the Guardian? Oh, am I glad to see you? What's going on? Bray's thrown in the election, that's why. How can he be a danger? The guy doesn't even know what day it is. It's still the right thing to do. How can it be right handling the election to Mars? Look, Ali, just hold off for a few hours. We might still find him. What good will that do? It'll make him a positive story that way. Come on. I'm doing what Bray asked. Look, please. No. Wow. Bray's already out of the competition. If only Amber was here, she could step right into his shoes. Right. But there isn't anybody else. I mean, would they vote for Lex? <sighs> no way. Alice? My God, there isn't anybody else. We're gonna be stuck with Mars. I can't, I can't believe it. Wait a minute. Look, Ali, just hold up for half an hour. You never know. Oh, listen. What? The answer is staring right at us. There is someone who can take Bray's place. <laughs> who? Where is he? I don't know. I think he's changed his mind. No. Then why isn't he here? He should have been here hours ago. He's probably been delayed. Are we gonna die in here, Trudy? Amber, you're letting in the bad thoughts again. You can't do that. I can't stop them. They keep getting stronger. You know what to do. It doesn't work anymore. Do it, Amber. Think about your baby. I'm not like you, Trudy. There's no one I can see when I close my eyes. Try. Try. You have to try. Where is he, boy? Why doesn't he come and find us? He will. Somebody will. I don't believe you anymore. You keep saying that, but nobody comes. Amber, stop it. Where are they? Stop it! Ebony, please, will you just think about it? Oh, no. How could I possibly take your place? Because it looks right. I don't have a chance, and you do. You know how to lead, and the people respect you far more than they do Mars. Well, that ain't saying a lot. What's all this I hear about Ebony taking your place, Bray? Well, it's just an idea, Lex. If you can think of a better one, let's hear it. Well, as a matter of fact, I can. If anybody's taking your place, it should be me. I'm sorry, Lex, it ain't gonna work. Why? What's she got that I haven't? Well, nothing, but ever since you've been a sheriff, it hasn't made you popular. You know that. You've been throwing your weight around. So, I'm not afraid to show people who's boss. They respect me for it. No, they fear you, Lex, and that's why they won't vote for you. Shut up, yours. None of your business. No, Lex, he's right. You don't have a chance. Ebony does. Grant, so how long have you been plotting this, huh? What? Well, you might fool the others, but you don't fool me. Lex, would you just shut up? She's tricking you. You're, you're crazy to even listen to her. It wasn't my idea. I don't even want to do it. I've been trying to persuade her. Are you crazy? For all we know, it was her that sprung the Guardian. That's it. I'm not standing around here being bad mouth for something that I don't even want. You want an alternative candidate? Well, here he is. Ebony. Forget it, Bray. I'm out of here. Thanks, Sheriff. Well, are you sure it wasn't Ebony's idea? Ebony. Go away. Look, would you at least hear me out? I'm sorry for what happened back there. It wasn't your fault. Look, Lex shouldn't have said those things. I think he feels really stupid now. Just shows what people really think about me around here. No, that's not true. People have been saying how fantastic you've been since Amber and Trudy were taken away. They're saying how you're the one thing that's holding this place together. They're saying how you've changed. They are? Yes. Well, 
People also say that a leopard can't change its spots. I could never gain that trust. No, that's not true. I know you're different. You're like the ebony I used to know. What? You could be so soft and, and, and sensitive, too, when you really cared about people. And we're all seeing that side of you again, Ebony. You really mean that? Yes. It's the truth. Well, it still doesn't mean I can win the election, though. No, I know you can. I know we can if we just pull together. Are you sure? Yes, trust me. If I won, it'd be for you, Bray. You'd be the real leader. You'd be there for me. Yes, of course I would. <sighs> okay. I'll give it my best shot. Somebody will come. Say it. Say it! Somebody will come. Again. Somebody will come. Ebony, I think Lex has something to say to you. Apologize. I had no right to say what I did. No, Lex. I'm the one that should apologize. After everything I've done in the past to make you think so badly of me, I'm sorry. But we're gonna put the past behind us. Right, Lex? Look, I don't like this any more than you do. But I really need your help to get through this. I can't do it without your support. Please? Okay, whatever. Thanks, Lex. It's awful big of you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thanks, Lex. Okay, well, we got work to do. Got to make new uh, pamphlets and, and leaflets and stuff. And Ellie, I want a new front page. Balanced and truthful. It will be. Come on. Still gonna take a miracle. Yeah. Let's just hope one shows up. Don't be afraid. There's only one thing I need from you. Then you'll have your freedom. Freedom? Yes. More than you've ever known. Now tell me. The Supreme Mother, where have you hidden her? 